What up everybody, it's me, Rylan Jones, aka The Fat Assassin, and on this week's Monday Macros for Thought, we're going to talk about puzzles. So this week I wanted to share a little story with you about my five-year-old son. Now this kid is pretty sharp. And I'm not just saying that because it's my kid, but he's still sharp nonetheless, right? Can't take all the credit. His mom probably had a little bit of something to do with it, right? But this kid loves puzzles. So he got a couple of puzzles in his stocking for Christmas this year. And they're, you know, like this big. They're, I mean, they're kids' puzzles. So they're not a lot of pieces. They, and when they're finished, they're maybe like this big. And the pieces are pretty big, you know, maybe like that or something. We're, we're teaching them, you know, how to put the puzzle together. And the way that I learned how to put puzzles together was you start with like the corners, right? And then you connect the corners with pieces. And then when you have this, the shape built, you kind of work from the outside in kind of. So as you're working from like the outside in, the puzzle kind of comes together a little quicker. You start to see that picture a little better. And then you get to the last few pieces you put it in you just like have this crazy sense of accomplishment like i remember that you know from being younger i don't remember doing puzzles maybe when i was like five but my son you can just tell like when he's once he learned that strategy and he started putting the pieces together he wants to do it by himself he doesn't want any help like, i'm gonna do this by myself when he gets it he's like the happiest kid in the world when he finishes this puzzle right he's got to run and tell him, dad come here i gotta go look He's got to call his grandmother. He's got to call his mom. He wants to take a picture and send a picture of the thing, text it to everybody, right? He, need, he wants to tell his brother. Like, this puzzle is everything to him. And I started thinking about it. I'm like, man, no matter what size puzzle you work on, because I've seen some crazy nuts, big puzzles. where like a thousand pieces. The puzzle's this big. Each piece is like the size of a quarter, and there's a thousand of them. But no matter what size the puzzle is, the strategy is, is still pretty much the same. Corners, right? Then you connect the corners. Now you have like the frame and then you kind of work sections on the inside until you put all that together and then you put the last few pieces. The strategy is still the same no matter how big the puzzle is. So that's kind of like, like whatever goals we have, right? And I feel like if we take that perspective and we look at our goals like puzzles, when we kind of get stuck, instead of being like, oh, I'm stuck, and then like basically doing the equivalent of smacking the puzzle off the table, we kind of say, okay, what pieces do I have left? What pieces can I put together? Same with our goals. We got to start with the corners, right? Then we got to connect the corners until we have that frame. We frame the goal. And then we just work from the outside in. I feel like sometimes we get lost when we're trying to work towards a goal and we get to that part where we feel stuck the important thing to do when we feel stuck, just like a puzzle, instead of focusing on the part we're stuck at, we actually need to look at the goal framed out, look at the picture what it's supposed to look like, and say, how can I approach this goal in a little bit of a different way so that I still end up with my finished puzzle or my completed goal? What do you do? Shift your focus to just another little bit. Because sometimes the only thing holding us back from achieving that goal is like a little bit of knowledge or a little shift in our perspective. And that little shift in our perspective is just moving to a different section of the puzzle. And that's it. So for the rest of the week, kind of think about this. If you're working on a goal and you just want to work on it a little bit at a time, just one section at a time, one corner, one side part at a time, I think you'll find that your goal doesn't seem as big or so big that you can't accomplish it if you break it down into those smaller sections. So as you move through the rest of this week, kind of shift your perspective and think about each one of your goals like one of those puzzles. Some of your goals are going to be like the small kitty puzzles with only 10 pieces, and some of your goals will be like those big huge puzzles with a thousand pieces. But the strategy is still the same. One section at a time, one bit at a time. Look at the end. Look at that picture, come back, work on another section. 
just kind of take that perspective, and I think you have a lot more success with accomplishing every goal you set out to accomplish this year. My name's Rylan Jones, a.k.a. The Fat Assassin. Thanks for watching, and I'm here to remind you, you can make progress or you can make excuses. The choice is yours, and I'm out. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Instagram at Rylan Jones, Snapchat handle Rylan Jones, also on Facebook at Facebook.com backslash Rylan Jones. You can also catch me on my YouTube channel at YouTube.com backslash Rylan Jones.